Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me this week for Real World Basics. Today we are going to continue talking about job hunting and we are moving on to professional presentation. So how you present yourself is super important when you're applying for or interviewing for a job. So today's video, uh, we're going to go through some of the basics of professional presentation for interviews, as well as just some general tips. Um, so the first thing is how you present yourself during an interview. So your professional attire is really important and it is always better to show up for an interview or to when you go to apply for a job uh, to be overdressed rather than underdressed. A good idea is if you are looking long term is to invest in a single solid interview outfit that makes you feel super confident. Um, my interview outfit uh, was a pair of black and white polka dot pants and a pink blazer. A lot of business professionals will say to wear like dark neutral clothing and don't wear anything too bold or anything that stands out. But again, my interview outfit that got me both my graduate assistantship and this current job were the previously mentioned polka dot pants and bright pink blazer. So I think it's more important that you feel confident and comfortable, but keep professional in mind. My polka dot pants were actual ladies dress trousers, not leggings. And like I wore a pink blazer, not a sweater. So I was still able to kind of show my personality a little bit and be a little colorful, but still keeping it professional. So some standards for professional attire. Uh, for pants, khakis or dress pants or trousers are kind of just the baseline standard for most job interviews. If you don't have either, then I would suggest wearing the nicest pair of dark jeans that you own. Um, aim for something well fitted with no rips or holes in them and always wear a belt. For tops, I would say the standard would be button-ups and blouses for interviews. Um, you want to make sure any undergarments or like under tank tops are fully covered, no straps peeking out. And, you know, I think wide strap tank tops or sleeveless tops are okay if it's summer and you live somewhere hot, but stay away from spaghetti straps and as a general rule, Tucking your shirt in uh, will also help pull your whole look together. Now dresses are and skirts are, are lovely and if you do choose to wear them I'd recommend like a nice like sheath style or like a wrap dress that's like about maybe knee length because once you get anything shorter than that then you kind of start to fuss over it um, and it just takes your focus away from nailing your interview. Now for shoes, you want to maybe wear like loafers, ballet flats, uh, heeled boots or sandals or formal dress shoes, but you want to make sure that you feel confident and comfortable in your shoes. Do not wear a pair of shoes that fit poorly, you haven't broken them in, or they're too tall to walk in because, again, it's going to distract you big time if your feet have blisters or you're trying not to fall over. And that's just because you want all of your focus on nailing your interview and showing them how great you are. So don't let the clothing you wear distract you from that. So make sure your outfit is clean, uh, hole free, wrinkle free, and ready to go for your interview. I'm going to link some of my previous real world basic videos in the description box for washing clothes and mending them in the description box if that might be helpful for you while you're interview, uh, getting ready to interview for a job. Um, if you don't have an iron, I do have a couple of other little tips to get wrinkles up. Um, so if you have a washer or dryer in your house, and if your clothing material will allow it, always read the tag before you uh, do this, but pop it into the dryer for a few minutes and the heat will loosen up any wrinkles and then you can kind of um, pull it out of the dryer and stretch out any wrinkles. But if you don't have a dryer, 
you can bring your outfit into the bathroom when you shower, but don't bring it into the shower. And when you take like a really hot shower or something, all of the steam from the shower will kind of just like hang out in your bathroom and it'll help loosen up any wrinkles. And again, you can just kind of stretch it out. But if you don't have time for a shower, um, <laughs> you could heat up a flat iron uh, for hair if you have one or have access to one. And you can use that to iron out any wrinkles. But again, just make sure you follow the clothing label instructions and set it on the lowest heat setting possible. So what do you bring to an interview with you? The first thing you want to do is bring a copy of your resume and cover letter. The person interviewing you may have a copy, they might not, and it also just makes you look like you're on top of things if you just hand them a copy of your resume and cover letter right off the bat. Or if they already have one, you can bring it out and follow along as they go over your resume. Uh, kind of going off of that, a folder for any paperwork you might receive or need to bring in. Um, a notebook to take notes, or um, you can jot down any preemptive questions in there. Um, you could also bring your portfolio if that's applicable to the job you're applying for. If you're applying for any artistic jobs or um, writing jobs, they may ask to see a portfolio of your work. So definitely bring that with you, even if they didn't say anything in um, your initial scheduling, it's always a good idea to have it and not need it. And the final thing is uh, to bring any identification documents. Uh, some places will hire you on the spot and there are uh, certain documentation that is needed to complete the hiring paperwork. So your identifying documents are usually going to be a driver's license or state ID, a social security card, passport, things like that. So um, you don't have to bring your identification documents, but it's helpful if they do wanna hire you on the spot. So how do you conduct yourself during an interview to make sure you come across as professional as possible? So the first thing um, is to put your phone on silent and to leave it in your bag or your pocket the whole time. Um, you don't want to pull it out to check it. You don't want to be distracted by any vibrations and you don't even want to have it out because again, if it lights up or uh, bings, then your focus will be... Um, diverted to that instead of being on the interview. And it, it just doesn't look good during an interview. Pretty standard, but be on your P's and Q's. Say please, thank you, ma'am, sir. Uh, just keep it professional and courteous. Even if the, um, the person interviewing you is kind of casual, um, or the employees who are working there, they might pop in. If they're really casual, uh, just remember you haven't been hired yet. So just keep it professional and courteous. And the last thing is to be engaged with the person who's interviewing you. If you find yourself kind of disengaging, then you need to do like a quick internal reflection and honestly ask yourself why. Are you disengaged because you're not interested in the job? Is it different from uh, what was advertised or what you expected? Is it the people there? So do that little internal assessment so you can either adjust yourself or the conversation. And regardless of why you feel yourself disengaging, um, if that happens, try to give the person interviewing you the respect and courtesy you'd like to receive, even if you know the position isn't one you want to pursue after the interview. It just kind of helps to make for good karma, even if you don't want the job. So preparing for your interview, um, I really recommend looking up the place you're interviewing uh, at before you actually go in. So you want to look up the website, check out their history, how long have they been there, who currently works there, um, what services they offer, or what products do they sell. You can familiarize yourself with all of that. Um, 
You can even read reviews about the location to determine um, what the public's perception of it is. And that just helps you get generally prepared. And once you actually get into the interview, uh, you're able to ask a little bit more in-depth questions rather than just tell me about the place of employment. Um, and another thing you want to do is know where the interview is located. Um, if you are able to, do a drive-by the day before so you know exactly where they are, how long it'll take you to get there, if there's any like uh, roadblocks that you need to go around to construction, uh, things like that, because showing up on time to an interview and being well informed about the place is going to make you look so good. So getting ready for an interview can be kind of nerve wracking, but over time you develop a routine and you get really good at it. And remember that while you're interviewing for a job, you are also interviewing the employer. The interview process is kind of an intricate uh, HR dance. So next week we will start talking about uh, what to expect during an interview, some sample questions and how to prepare answers, as well as uh, what your rights are as an interviewee. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the Manassas Park City Library if you have any questions about today's video or have any suggestions for topics you'd like to see covered in upcoming Real World Basics videos. I've included our information in the description box below, but I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day.